Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another first impressions video. This one is going to be an interesting one you guys because I'm not reviewing one but three eyeshadow palettes. And yes, these are keychains. Aren't these the cutest things? This is from Shell We Makeup. They released a new sort of trio of palettes that come in full sizes but I decided to pick up the minis which come as keychains which is the cutest thing. So before we dive right in, if this is your first time watching me, welcome. I am Jamila. I love all things beauty. I love all things makeup and skincare. And I especially love sharing my tips and tricks for how to find high-end and luxury beauty products at bargain prices. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I would absolutely love if you would consider subscribing and joining the fam. So like I said, we're going to be doing a first impressions on these three keychain palettes from Shell We Makeup. If you are not familiar with Shell We Makeup, not surprised. It is a indie band indie brand, uh, a China-based indie brand actually, that I don't think is very popular here in the makeup space just yet. I actually heard about them, I would say last year, when my friend Lock Maiden, she purchased the Liana palette, um, which was absolutely stunning. And when I saw these watches, I was like, okay, <laughs> I want. So I actually went ahead and did buy that palette. But they are not a brand that releases, releases products very, very frequently. So things were kind of quiet and then they dropped this trio of eyeshadow palettes. Now, one thing that is interesting about uh, Shell We Makeup is that when it comes to their eyeshadow palettes, they release them in two forms. So you can get either a full-sized palette or you can get a mini version. And the mini version shows up as a keychain. <laughs> So I decided that I was going to purchase the keychains from the palettes because it was cheaper. I have a large makeup collection. I did not need full sizes. And I spoke with uh, Millie from Bad to the Brow and she said that they have decent amount of product in the minis. So it definitely would be worth it to pick up the minis if I didn't want to get the full size. So like I do with all my first impressions videos, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of product details. Uh, I'll insert some swatches so you can see what the palettes look like on my skin tone. I am a medium deep complexion with a yellow golden undertone. And then I'm going to be giving you three looks, one with each palette. And then we'll come back at the end so I can wrap things up with my final first impressions thoughts. As always, this is a first impressions, so I have not used these palettes a ton. Literally, this is going to be my first time using it. So my opinions can change over time, so I will come back in a couple weeks maybe a couple months to let you guys know overall how I feel about the products. Okay, so like I said, there are three palettes from this release. Um, quite frankly, on the brand website, there's not a ton of details about the palette, the inspiration, or the brand itself. So I don't have all that stuff to give you guys. But what I am going to give you is the price <laughs> because we know that matters. So there is some slight differences between each of uh, the palettes. And by that, I mean one of the palettes actually cost more than the other. So we're just going to go through this individually. So the first palette that we have is the Circle palette or the Lion palette. So it includes a little sort of uh, lion um, pendant stuck to the front of it. This is actual metal, which I think is a really, really beautiful touch to it. And then when you open it up, this is the color story. It is a fiery red warm color story. You get two mattes and you get two shimmers. Now you can purchase the mini of this for $15 or you can purchase the uh, full size for $30. Next up is the Dream Escape palette or the Octopus palette. Again, same sort of emblem in the front. And then when you open it up, this is the color story. Now this is the most expensive of the trio. So you can purchase this mini for $19 or you can purchase the full size for $38. I'm not entirely sure why this one is more expensive. Um, I don't know. Because uh, you get three shimmers and you get one matte. I do believe, I know this one is definitely a multi-chrome, but I do think these two are just standard shimmers. So I'm not sure why this one is more expensive. And then the final one is the Deathless Spirit Palette. This one actually, mine came damaged. So the uh, uh, metal medallion was gone. And it's actually the Dove Palette. So the Dove medallion is gone and you will see some damage to the inside of it as well. So similar to the last one, you do get one matte and three shimmers. And this one is a, I'm going to say it's a dual chrome, not necessarily a multi-chrome. This one, again, the mini is $15 and the large one is $30. Now they do offer 
bundles if you want to pick this up but the bundles are not any cheaper <laughs> so it, it's just a simplicity uh, factor in terms of ordering so if you want to get a bundle of the three mini palettes it's gonna cost you $49 if you want to get the full size it's gonna cost you $98 I decided to get the minis because I think you know $49 for three palettes decent amount of product in each um, I don't see the actual amount of product let me see if I can figure that out so the mini size comes with 0.4 grams of product and the full size comes with one gram of product. So uh, something, if, if you are somebody that cares uh, about like the actual grams, uh, you can calculate to see the value in, in terms of that. Me personally, it doesn't matter to me because I'm not going to pan it in a full size. So I might as well get the smaller size and save me a little bit of coin. So $49.00 three mini palettes happy with it there is also one other option where you can order the four pack so like i said they did release a palette last year that was called the let me see it's called the liana palette really beautiful also one matte three shimmers absolutely stunning and there is an option where you can get all four of them together um in the keychain oh yeah if you get a bundle of the four keychains with the um liana palette included that's gonna run you 64 dollars okay so that's it in terms of product details let's go ahead and jump into the demos of each of these palettes on my eyes some days i can't get out of my bed some days i'm waking up on the wrong side of my head and i got all these eyes on me staring So we're gonna get started on today's look. This is gonna be with the Dream Escape palette or the Octopus palette essentially. And this is the blue one. Y'all, 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 y'all. This is so beautiful. Do you see this? Okay, so as you can see, there's only one matte in this one. So what I think I wanna do is, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go back into the 
Lion palette, which is the one I used for the last look. And I'm gonna take this shade, the gray shade, as my transition shade for this look. So I'm gonna use, I'm cheating a little bit, but that's because I need more than one matte, <laughs> at least two. So I'm gonna reach into that palette for that shade so I can use it as a transition shade and then we'll finish the rest of the look using the rest of the shades. Okay, so this shade is called Earth. I'm gonna take Earth and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. Now it's a little bit deeper than I would prefer, but it's not too, too deep. So I'm just gonna pop that in the crease here. No one seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna reach into the rich blue shade. It's called Muse, and I'm gonna use that as the outer corner shade. So, okay, that has a bit of kick up in it, but I'm gonna start by stamping that into the outer corner, and then, oh. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I have a little bit of fallout, but that's just because this brush is a little bit dense and not necessarily the best brush for this, but I need to wash my brushes, so I gotta work with what I got that's clean. So, I'm just gonna stamp this in and lightly blend this into the grayish shade that we have. And yes, I did say grayish to get nice depth. Okay, so we are gonna go into the blue shimmer. It's called Friendship. It actually has a little bit of a, well, a lot of it. It's a dual chrome or multi chrome, whatever you want to call it. Oh my lord. So there's purple in there. So I'm gonna just stamp that into. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So we're just plopping that into the center of the lid here. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I really, really like that. And then we're gonna go into the light blue shimmer. It's called Reality. Y'all, this writing is so small and my good, good little eyes kind of function. So I'm doing my best to see. So we're gonna take Reality and we're gonna put that into the inner part of the eye. It's like a silvery blue, blending it into that other blue shade. We will of course go in and do some brush blending to make this a little bit more seamless, but just laying down the shadows for now. You're so wonderful. The star could never shine as bright as you. Okay, so far so good. You guys see the vision. I'm gonna go ahead, blend, make everything come together seamlessly. For the waterline, I'll tell you all really quickly now. I'm gonna take the same blue, run it along here. And then there's one last shade in this palette. It's this red shade. I'm gonna put the red in the inner part of the eye. So that way we would have used all four shades. But yeah, this is the vision. You guys see where we're going with this. I like, I like, I like. Okay, be right back with the final look. Okay guys, so this is look number two. I, there's just something about blue eyeshadow. I love it. And like I said, I went in with the red in the bottom to give it a little bit of a pop and to use all the shades. So this is what this face is looking like. Um, I like. Okay, so we have one palette left. It is the Deathless Spirit palette. And this is the one that came damaged. So it's a little cracked and dug up. So this is gonna be the final look. So let's dive into look number three. Okay, so we are back for the, th the third and final look with the third and final palette. This is called Deathless Spirit. Um, 
So mine came really damaged, as you can tell. The thing here is completely missing, and the palette itself was like dug up. Um, so <laughs> this is what we have. This is what we're working with. Similar to the last palette, this one only has one matte, so I'm gonna go back into, hmm, should I? I guess I'll go back into the first one to use the single uh, light matte shade as my transition shade, and then we'll dive into the other colors here. Okay, so we are going back again into the Lion palette, taking the shade Earth as the transition shade and putting that into the crease. Okay, so next up we are going to go into the deep uh, navy blue shade. It's called Temple. And I'm using my B5 brush from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And I'm going to start putting that... Oh, okay. Putting that into the outer corner, blending it into the transition shade. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Wow, this is really rich. I think I like this blue better than the one in the last palette. So lucky I met you and I still can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have felt from the sky and I feel Now I think the most interesting shade in this palette is this stunning line green shade. It's called Worship. So I'm actually gonna want that to be the star of the show. So I'm gonna dip into that with my dupe. <laughs> deep, deep. Deep. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna dip into that with my middle finger and I'm gonna put that into the center part of the lid. So it looks like some of the shade next to it got on it. So let me see if I can get that layer off so there's no cross contamination there, you see? So taking that green, plopping that into the center, blending that into the Matt in the outer V. Now you guys know I love going in with my finger and one thing I will say is that these pans are tiny so it does make that very very difficult. So personally I would recommend getting a brush especially if you have a small brush that can fit into this like the refer number 27, 28. I think those are going to be the best brushes for application for well, all of these shadows. And of course, I'm gonna go back in with the brush to clean this up as best as I can. And then I'm going to take my index finger. I'm gonna go into the shade Saint. Saint is a, I'm gonna say it's a dual chrome. It has a blue purple shift. Some days I can't get out of my bed. Some days I... Oh my God. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. I didn't swatch these, obviously, before using any of them. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I lied. This is the star of the show. Okay, so we're plopping it in the front, blending it into that lime green shade. That's pretty. So you guys see the vision. Obviously this is not like great placement because my fingers are a little chunky. So I'm gonna go ahead, take a brush, start cleaning everything up, blending everything together. You know the drill. And then I'll come back, show you guys the final look. And then I'll give you my overarching thoughts on this entire collection and each of the palettes from Shall We Makeup. Okay, so this is the third and final look, and this is cute. Now, this is very bold. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with this. And just for context for the waterline, I did go back in with the blue shade, the deep blue shade in the outer corner, and I went into the dark blue shimmer, followed by the light blue shimmer into the inner part of the eye. So that's this look. I think 
This is really pretty. Now let's talk about all of the palettes one after the other so you guys hear how I feel about all of them. Okay, so starting with the Circus palette or the Lion palette, I really enjoyed this one. Now this is the only palette that includes two matte shadows, so you guys saw I dug very heavily into the lighter matte as my transition for all of the all of the palettes essentially, because all of the, the two other palettes only have one matte shade and it's dark. I love this. You guys know how I feel about red eyeshadow, you know how I feel about orange eyeshadow. We have a red and an orange. Perfection. I think overall this performed absolutely well and this is a color story that I live for and it's overdone yes I get it red orange but I thought that it was really really beautiful the dream escape this is the octopus y'all this blue this blue this blue now this stunning I love the red in this I thought it was a really nice pop I will say that for the shimmers I think they did a really good job in terms of the textures now you might notice just by looking at it some of them have a little bit more chunk to it versus some of them being more smooth and I saw that in all of the palettes there was some that were chunkier versus some that was smoother this one I really enjoyed this might be my favorite mainly because I love a stunning blue shimmer like this yum and while I only used this as the deep outer corner shadow, I do think that this blended out really nicely where I could have used this as both a transition and an outer corner. But I wanted a little something to shake things up, which is why I went back into the first palette for the matte. And then finally, the Deathless Spirit palette. I'm really sad that my thing fell off. I don't even know what it was anymore. Um, this one, I think this is an interesting palette. I do love this multi-chrome slash dual chrome here. This first one, I think that that is really beautiful. And I think that overall, this is a very bold palette. I don't know if this is going to be my favorite one, though, just because the color story, I think, is pretty unique, pretty different, pretty out there. So if you're looking for the most unique one, this is definitely the most unique color story, but it's the least wearable. So if you want something that's more wearable, definitely the Circus which is the red one. I think that's the most wearable. This is definitely, in my opinion, the least wearable, but really beautiful. Now this blue matte here, mm, loved that. I thought that that had really great depth. It blended really nicely and it didn't turn into a weird color because with blue sometimes, for me, like teal bluish shades can look a little weird when I blend them out on my lids. But I really liked this as well and I'm, I'm surprised by how much I like the way this this look turned out and I do think that the multi-chrome in here has a really really stunning pop I think out of all of the multi-chromes because each one of these has a multi-chrome in it this one is the strongest multi-chrome followed by oh no the blue purple one might be the second strongest and then followed by this one this one is definitely like I said the most wearable and in some ways the least interesting because it is pretty much a neutral palette warm neutral but you know what i mean overall the collection i think that this is so cool first i will say that i love that they offer the option to do keychains in this uh well minis in the format of keychains let's start with the obvious none of us are using this as keychains it's just impractical it doesn't make sense for this to be a keychain it's eyeshadow keychains get knocked all over the place it's gonna break <laughs> so it's very impractical from a keychain perspective but I do think from a packaging perspective it's stunning it's such a cool idea so I'm not mad at it at all because I think that this is really cool I also love how tiny this is in terms of it being really great for travel like this fits into the palm of my hand and you can travel with this very very easily if you don't want to bring a ton of makeup even if you were to take all three of these this could easily fit in a place without taking up much space because it's that small. So I like that there's the option to buy a small mini version of this. Now these palettes, like I said in the intro, they do come in the full size. So if you are someone who wants the full size, you can get it. But if you have a large makeup collection, I would definitely say consider getting the keychains because so far, pretty decent amount of product. Like I don't think I'm gonna hit pan on any of these soon, mainly because I don't hit pan on anything because I have a huge collection. But you know, like I said, I think if you have a lot of makeup, you don't need to get full sizes anymore <laughs> because we don't hit pants. So this is great for someone who just wants a little taste, a little piece. All right, that being said, how do I feel about these palettes? How do I feel about the quality? I loved it. I had a really good time playing with this. I thought that the shades blended really well. They built really well. Some of them performed better than others. One thing, let me quickly flag though, is the last palette that I used I felt like the lime green shade was a little bit difficult to pick up compared to the others that I use. Like this one I struggled a little bit and you might see I kind of like dug my brush in there to really get some pickup. So that's the only one, the only shade that struggled and 
probably is the most interesting and weird shade out of all of them but not terrible enough that I feel like it was an issue for me so I do recommend these palettes I think that they're absolutely beautiful I think they perform well uh, so if you're interested in them and I would say it's fair to check them out they're good quality all right, so that's it for this video. If you guys liked today's video, I would absolutely love if you would, you know, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about the palettes, what you think about the brand, if you're interested, have you ever tried anything from them, all that fun jazz. Uh, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, join the fam if you're enjoying the content and you want to see more from me. And yeah, like the video, I guess, <laughs> if you actually like the video. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much more than you know, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!